Back now to that story we brought you at the beginning of the hour in Cabarrus County, where a stolen dump truck chase ended. We're going to get back out to Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell with what police are saying about this quite unusual chase. Savannah? Hey, Annie, law enforcement is still out here looking for the person who drove that stolen truck across the highway here into Cabarrus County. They've got a pretty big perimeter set up all around the area here in the Mecklenburg County, Cabarrus County line. They say that uh, the person who drove went along Albemarle Road, then took a little side road, and instead of following that side road all the way through, hopped on these train tracks. You could see as far as he went down these tracks, he left dirt and different impressions from that heavy construction vehicle, went all the way down around this bend, past where we can see where the train tracks go, before getting stuck. Got to take a look at these pictures that the Pineville Police Department has just sent us. You can see exactly how this truck got stuck. Officers say the driver hopped the tracks after about a quarter a mile and then got stuck in some trees. He uh, got out and ran from there and police believe this person is still in the area. The whole situation started just after eight o'clock this morning. Pineville officers saw the stolen truck driving along 485 outer. The driver refused to pull over and led them on a slow chase into Cabarrus County. That's why the sheriff's deputies got involved from there. The pursuit slowed down uh, traffic along this morning for about an hour. Now officials are still looking for this person. They say again they have a pretty large perimeter set up around the area. We'll keep you updated with any information that we get here from the scene. Reporting live in Midland, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.